Cole Scott here for Netbook News and today I am reporting for Tweak Town. Now how did that happen? Well, Cam and I actually hang out at some of the same bars in Taipei. So since Intel sponsored me to come down here and, and uh, cover GDC for Netbook News, I looked at the conference and I said, you know, tablets and netbooks are a very small part of what goes on here at GDC. So I thought, hey, why not do something for you guys at Tweak Town? So if you have anything that you want me to go and grab, let me know. My Twitter is uh, at Nicole underscore Scooter. I'll put it here maybe. Um, or you can always uh, send Cam an email and he'll let me know. So contact Tweak Town and they'll let me, uh, they'll have me running around the show floor trying to find stuff for you guys. So I've been down to the show floor and while it's not built, uh, there's boxes and crates everywhere. It's uh, kind of in disarray. The lighting is terrible. I hope they, uh, that improves by the time the show opens tomorrow. So. Keep an eye out for me, Nicole. I'll be doing some videos for you guys at TweakDown and I hope you enjoy them. So, this is Nicole, here at GDC. Sure. Uh, hi, I'm Josh Bays. I'm a product evangelist with uh, Six Sense Entertainment, and uh, we're here uh, at the Intel Lounge demonstrating our uh, Six Sense True Motion dev kit. It's a, uh, a wireless uh, magnetic uh, motion controller. So uh, we're here showing a custom built version of uh, Valve's Left 4 Dead 2 with some uh, unique functionality to show off some of the capabilities of our controller. Yeah, so this is a, a gorgeous Alienware desktop. It has a very top of the line ATI card, a, a very powerful um, uh, Intel processor. The specs are actually up on that video display uh, every once in a while. It alternates between showing what game we're playing and what uh, machine we're playing it on. Uh, so yeah, you can see that's that's some really uh, incredible uh, tech right there. That's what allows us to run it at this iFinity configuration. Um, the the resolution on this is just incredible. It's I can show you right here. Uh, the resolution is actually 7680 by 1600, which is you know panoramic above HD uh, and it really does a great job of showing off uh, some of the some of the things that we can do with our, our wireless controller as well. Um, so the uh, the base station that's right there in front of the keyboard is generating a weak magnetic field six feet out. Um, it's a 12 foot sphere, and that's the play area. Anywhere inside that zone, um, we're going to be able to get a really detailed picture of the controllers in my hands, where they are, um, their exact position and orientation. It's very precise, so we can get uh, up to uh, one millimeter of position precision and one degree of orientation. So very slight movements are going to register on here. It really knows exactly what I'm doing. So uh, some of the unique features we've added to this version of Left 4 Dead 2 is one-to-one -one control of uh, melee weapons in the game. So you can see I'm holding onto the controller, but in the game world I'm holding onto a crowbar and I can swing it around, I can smash zombies' heads with it, um, and it has real collision with the zombies in the game. So if I aim low, I can knock his leg off. I, you know, it's, it's real, uh, real detailed knowledge uh, in the game world in 3D space. So uh, when I'm not using my right hands to control one-to-one -one, uh, melee combat, I can use it to uh, change my view on the screen. So that's how I aim. I also can use gestures in my left hand to uh, use functions that are normally reserved for button keys uh, or button presses or uh, clicks. So I can uh, tilt this controller down and I'll crouch. I can do the opposite, tilt it up and I'll jump. Uh, you can see if I get some zombies, uh, if I do a jab motion, I can push them away from me, aim and shoot. If I uh, the, the precision I was telling you guys about allows us to do broad sweeping motions like swinging a crowbar, but also very fine motions like tilting the controller uh, a very small amount to do a reload, like I'm dropping the clip out of a gun. So all I have to do is just a really quick flick of the wrist. Uh, you can kind of see right here. And uh, that precision lets us, uh, lets us do these fine movements, and it's really kind of a, a new thing to do that. Uh, in addition, we also have uh, freedom of motion uh, throwing weapons. So you can see I have this uh, Molotov cocktail here. I can arc it up. You can see, threw it up pretty high there. More of a line drive, throw it straight forward. Uh, I can throw it to the right of me without changing my view. Uh, a 
pretty uh, easy to relate to use case for this is I can, uh, you know, summon some zombies, get them to chase after me, and then rather than turning around, I just drop a grenade behind me and keep running. And you can see that uh, I've kind of set a trap for them. That kind of gameplay uh, advantage and uh, unique uh, gameplay experience is something that we can bring to the table. So we're really thrilled to be here at GDC. Um, we want to get this into the hands of developers, um, get the controllers into the hands of gamers, so that gamers can see how much fun it can be and uh, developers can learn uh, how easy it can be to develop for this. Uh, we have a really robust SDK that we're constantly adding uh, you, uh, functions to, we have a utility library. So every time we're working on a, a game genre, like first person shooter we have here, but we're also looking at real time strategy games, flight sims, you know, racing games, action, sports. Um, we wanna make all of our resources and all of our work that we've done uh, available to all the developers we're gonna work with. So instead of uh, having to reinvent the wheel, they can uh, use the, the ideas and the content that we already have and then focus on fine tuning the game, adding new content, making it really fun for players. And that's the work that they should have to do. They shouldn't have to be uh, you know, doing, dealing with the drudgery of just implementing uh, these controllers, you know, uh, reinventing the wheel every single time. So that's, that's our whole focus. Uh, we know that the controllers are great, but uh, nobody cares unless there's great games to play with them. Thank you guys so much.